It's time now for the Perry Show sign off news on this Thursday night, July 16th, 2015. And just before the Perry Show signs off tonight, a summary of the late night news on this late Thursday night, July 16th, 2015. I'm Peter Wiggins, I'm your 11 o'clock news on this late Thursday night here. He is in Hickson, Tennessee, where he played wolf ball in the suburban neighborhood at swim meet and gently swoop along to you as a young man with flight who sometimes drove too fast with his resident and drunken driving charge as Muhammad Yusuf Abadiz, who was the gunman that killed four Marines and himself in Chattanooga, Tennessee. In Washington, U.S. President Barack Obama may find Gulf allies more receptive than Israel to his offer to double down on security cooperation in the immediate aftermath of this week's nuclear. Deal with Iran, even though its concerns went deep in both camps. In Centennial, Colorado, Colorado movie massacre gunman James Holmes was found guilty on Thursday of multiple counts of first degree murder, rhetoric that enables prosecutors to seek the death penalty for the former graduate student who killed 12 people. Thursday's nominations for the 6th Avenue Prime Time Emmy Awards offered a snapshot industry stirred by cross currents that change, will affect in some of the growing racial diversity and casted network experiments when ambitious programming and arising. St. Andrews, Scotland, after spanking his driving the 13th pole, Thursday, Dustin Johnson headed off to tee box the rear ride as Dustin Johnson, weeks after. Major collapse leads the British Open. Tony Abbott has targeted Russia in his address to Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. Families to a National Memorial Service in Canberra, Australia, sent it to 98 victims deserve better than to be a shot out of the sky in a war of aggression by one country. Mexico City, just about the only hard facts that emerge in the wake of an escape of Mexico's most notorious drug baron, uh, that he is gone, and that he has used a sophisticated, solidly constructed tunnel to fashion his departure from the tight confines. Pope Francis has won his praise for his political left in from the environmentalists for saying that globalization is running important to the climate change. The Muslim revenue are preparing for culmination in the month long runs man festivities in a day or two. The new moon is expected to be sighted on July 17th when the debate will celebrate the Eid of Fitter breaking and fasting. Family worry after Naperville woman's death in the Texas jail, grand jury to inquire. Austin Senators for CEO Peter Holt and Houston or a billionaire Jeff Fildebrand are part of a small collection of Uber wealthy Texas business executive health field Governor Abbott's fundraising board just set to record near $18 million. Alabama, Oklahoma, President Obama, who in recent weeks has shed any but since to talk about racism and discrimination in American life suggested inside the walls of the federal prison in Oklahoma on Thursday that under different circumstances. Bell in Washington, a 16 year girl recognized and tried to save her step grandparents after the fire small plane crash on Washington Mountain last weekend, she told CNN. Oil headed for the third week dead climb amid signs the global glut that has driven in price of lower world persists for with little change in New York Town, 3.3% for the week. Washington, foreign holders of U.S. Treasury Securities fell in May for the second straight month in the of China. The largest foreign owner of a Treasury debt boosted his holdings. Scientists have long considered the possibility that polar bears enter an account of walking hibernation to cut down their energy demand during the summer when food is on the land is scarce. In Cape Canaveral, Florida, a piece of space junk forced the three space station astronauts to seek emergency shelter on Thursday for nearly an hour. The American and two Russians hung down on their soy's capsule, which is docked for the National Space Station. The Chancellor would turn into a normal weight after becoming obese with only 210 for men and one for 124 women over a year. Research that Aspen Foods has recalled nearly 2 million pounds of frozen chicken products after three people in Minnesota became ill with infection from salmonella. In Baltimore, a new study out of Johns Hopkins finds breast cancer survivors are gaining more weight than women who are cancer-free. Take a look at New England Insulars here at 1104 here. Amber Alert, a one-year-old abducted from Summersworth Mansion. The suspect was Mount... <coughs> The suspect, who is Mount Guy Grant's father, may be driving. A 
1991 Grey Honda with New Hampshire registration last plates 2854569. Peter John News on Loto 5, Tana for a sports report here. The Los Angeles Clippers signed free agent for Josh Cliff will eliminate them in the playoffs when he was with the Houston Rockets. The Pittsburgh Steelers again begin training camp later this month with a key piece of business done. The veteran KMA would agree to a six year deal with a team which confirmed the news Thursday night. The Ole Miss Rebels may have to look somewhere else to dissolve the third and hopeful star running back as reports indicate that four star recruit Eric Swinney has suffered an injury that will likely sign on him for the season. The SEC West is the most competitive division in college football 2014 is upcoming season to shake it up to be no different. And the Pawtucket Red Sox lose to the Durham Bulls down at Durham, North Carolina, 9 7. The Wheaton College Lions have not. Matt Comey will be the interim men's lacrosse head coach for next season. Peter Chill News Time, 1105. Time now for Trevor Porter on this late Thursday night here. And all the highways in Renown are looking good. 138 on the west bank side of Newport Bridge, it's a little slow. 195 on the west bank side, also for the North Darkness Bridge. Now it's looking good. It's just the 195 east bank side from Perryman to Metapoise, it's a little slow here. We got an exit here on 95 in the southbound side near exit line, which is Route 1 in Sharon, so expect some delays here. Route 3 in the northbound side, a little slow from Route 18 in Weymouth to Union Street in Braintree here. 128 on the northbound side, it's slow from Needham all the way out before Route 9 in Walsley here. South Pacific Express on the southbound side, it is slow from the Mass Pike all the way out to Dorchester here. Mass Pike Interchange, Route 195, it's a little slow. 290 in the eastbound side, it is slow before Route 122 in Worcester. 93 in the southbound side, a little slow for the Sunville stretch. Route 1 in the southbound side, so from Toby Bridge to Route 93 in Charleston. Mass Pike in the eastbound side, it's slow, slow for the Alton Brandt Tolls and through Boston University here. Route 3 in the northbound side, also in the North Field Records section. 93 in the northbound side, it's slow around Route 125 and end over here. 95, it's slow, slow around Route 45 in the Namesbury section here. Up in Hampshire, 39395, looking good in the Granite State here. And Spalding Turpex, a little slow after Route 125, Whistler Rise, you're looking good from Portsmouth all the way up in the Milton here. Uh, the main turnpike is looking good from York up to Augusta via Portland. It's a little slow on the main turnpike before the Falmouth Spur in Portland here. And take a look at MBTA alerts here on this late Thursday night here. Ferries are looking good on the subway system. It's smooth sailing. And the commuter rail, it's looking good. Beauty Challenge News, I'm Lono 7 here, and it is time now for Water Report here. And look at the window, and it is a taste of fall out here in North and around the region here, as people will be opening up their air conditioners to get themselves some comfortable sleeping weather, and maybe even a save money on the Collect your bill and give the air conditioner a rest. Alright, 7 day forecast. I got all like this here. Overnight for the day, patch back after 4 a.m. was clear sky low around 50 degrees, calm wind. Friday, patch back for 8 a.m. was sunny sky around 81 degrees, calm wind, becoming seven and Friday, 8 miles by the afternoon. For Friday night, park sky low about 6 degrees, south of about 5 to 7 miles an hour. Here for Saturday, slight change of shots, but thunderstorms also possible after 9 a.m. Most of the sky is about 7 degrees, south of about 6 to 11 miles, but good sky is 22 miles an hour. Chest face should for set. Diana, catch the shots of the sunset maybe before 4 p.m. Pitch bug after 11 p.m. boss. Most of us got low at 6 degrees. Suffered about 5 to 7 boss by chest base before it's set. Sunday, slight catch the shots of the sunset before 8 a.m. Then a slight catch the shots of the sunset afternoon. Pitch bug before 9 a.m. boss. Punch the sunset got about 8 degrees. Chest base before it's set. Sunday night, pitch bug after 2 a.m. boss. Most of us got low at 6 to 9 degrees. Monday, shots of the sunset like the very after 5 p.m. But some of the produce every day. Pitch bug before 9 a.m. boss. Most of us got high about 8 degrees. Chest base should 6 set. On the next, shots of Tesla's like the baby before 9 p.m. Seven stores produce every rate. Punch back up to 3 a.m. was. Most of the cast got low at 6 to 3. Chest base is 6 set. Today, punch back for 8 a.m. was. Most of the podcast got high at 8 by about 6 by degrees. Wednesday, most of the city, most of the cast have at 87 to about 6 by degrees. And for Thursday, most of the cast got high at 8 4 degrees. Here, not temperature at 1109. 55 degrees, you're with 89 percent. And it is fair, Scott. That's great for the Peter Channel. Sign up, tune in this late Thursday night, July 16, 2015. I appreciate you all being here. Good night. See you tomorrow morning with a more important night.